Welcome back again and today we're going to learn about the nomenclature for hydracids or also binary acids and again we have to know how to identify these guys and the cation is always going to be hydrogen with a plus one charge that's invariable and the anion is always going to be something non-metallic or maybe a metalloid but usually non-metallic so some of the examples are sulfur with a minus two charge, nitrogen with a minus three charge, phosphorus with a minus three charge, or I don't know, some halogens, chlorine uh, or chlorine, bromine, iodine. And then we do our typical crisscross and we mix them. And once we mix them, we can finally name them. So when we actually mix them, we're gonna get H plus one, with Cl minus one is gonna give us HCl. Uh, H plus one with bromine minus one is gonna give us HBr. H plus one, I minus one is gonna give us HI. H plus one valence with sulfur minus two is gonna give us H2S. Same thing applies for um, H plus hydrogen with a plus one valence with nitrogen with a minus three going to turn into H3N. This is kind of uh, something that's different. You will find it in textbooks that we usually write it as NH3, which is uh, ammonia, but we can also name it in the style as an acid. And then we also have H plus 1, phosphorus minus 3, and we're going to get H3P. Finally, what is the naming style for hydracids? Hydracids are very simple to name and very simple to identify because they only have one cation, and one element, and one anion, one element. It's not like an oxyanion. So if we circle the H's, the H's are going to turn into the word acid at the very end of the name. And then the nonmetal is going to have a name mutation which is non-metal with ick ending with ick ending and then invariably we're always gonna add the word hydro at the beginning so in this case we're gonna do we're gonna finish this video really quickly because this is really really simple and so we said the hydrogen turns into hydro and acid so we're gonna begin with hydro and the name of the nonmetal is chlorine. Chlorine turns into chloric with the ic ending. Hydrochloric acid. And we're done. Next one, hydro, which is invariable. Bromine, but bromine turns into bromic. Bromic acid. Check. Next one, hydroiodine, not iodine, turns into iotic. Hydroiodic acid. Next one, sulfur, we're not gonna say sulfic, which is a common mistake, so some people write sulfic, but it's not sulfic, and if your teacher is really tough on you, um, it's gonna be wrong, so it's not sulfic. We're gonna say hydro, the name of the element is sulfur, so we're gonna say sulfuric, hydrosulfuric acid. Next, we have nitrogen. Nitrogen is gonna turn into hydro, nitric or nitric acid and last but not least we're gonna have hydrophosphoric acid and again how do we recognize these these only have a uh, hydrogen as a cation and one type of non-metal or metalloid as the anion and the naming style is hydro the name of the non-metal with ick ending acid thanks for watching